Everyone, Sam here. Welcome back to Everything Buses. Now, I asked you guys a few days ago, what would you like to know about buses? Um, and basically, you guys wanted to know just the basic stuff generally. Now, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And also, you can chat with me on Instagram if you like. So, we are on this little map that I made specifically for this video. Now, let's get straight into it. I'll try not to blabber on too much. You should make your bus stops roughly every two to four blocks. So for example, there's a bus stop here and then there's also another one here and then there's also another one here and then there's also another one around, I think it's there. So every two to four blocks is really, really great. And you should also avoid putting the bus stations right next to really busy intersections because if I use this as an example, let's say this is a really, really busy road here. And then there's a lot of cars that want to turn around here, but then there's a bus blocking the whole road because even though the bus stop pulls over on this side off the road, the back of the bus still technically blocks the streets. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So be aware of that. Now you should avoid putting your bus stops on really busy roads. Um, so for example, if we use this road right here, let's say this road, you don't want to upgrade it to one that has bus lanes on it. Um, you just you just don't want to. So this one is not going to be very good because if you put a bus stop here, right there, um, the buses are going to stop on the road and it's going to back up all of the traffic along that road. So for example, why not just put it back one block, which I've done here. Now if I just exit and show you guys right there. So instead of just putting the bus lane on this one main road which is going to cause congestion i just put it back one block um, away from all of the potential future traffic or existing traffic so that's something that you should really really do that's going to help because like i said bus stops on main roads are going to cause a lot of congestion try to avoid that you should also make your bus lines avoid very busy areas because buses are very constant they're large and sometimes they're slow. So they're going to easily, easily add to existing congestion and make it a lot, a lot worse. So let's say that this area here is a very, very busy intersection, which obviously it's not, but let's say it is. I would not put a bus lane that goes right through here because all of the traffic going along this way is then going to have to wait, even though there's traffic lights or whatever, there's going to be a lot of waiting time because like I said, buses are very frequent and they do cause a lot of congestion so you can either reroute your bus away from that busy intersection you can make them go into a tunnel a bridge or you can just deal with it and really manage the area that's up to you but it's something that you should avoid something else you should avoid is bus lines going over each other or overlapping so let's use these two as an example so let's say this is one really big bus loop and this is another one instead of having them overlap like for example, like this, and then this one goes over there like that. So it gets quite messy very, very quickly. So to make it just a lot more easier, just have it like that. So then you can add a bus station right next to each other, just on the opposite side. Now they don't have to connect at the exact same spot. So having them on opposite sides does make the flow a lot more easier. So if people want to transfer, they can just get off here, simply walk up here, cross the street, walk back down, get on the other bus. And it just makes it a lot more easier. The flow is so much more just beneficial. So really try to do this because I've seen a lot of the time bus lanes do get very, very technical, technical very, very quickly because they lap overlap each other. So please try to avoid overlapping. Now your bus lines should go from somewhere to somewhere. Don't worry about filling in empty spaces that you think that you just should put it in. First of all, just think about where would they want to go? So let's look at the red one right here. They're going from this little shopping district, which also has the cruise ship terminal. It goes through the residential area, past the bus terminal, past this little shopping district, and over into the office and industrial area, which also has a ferry. So this is going to be a very, very beneficial one. So that is something that you should really consider. Where do they want to go to and from. So if we look at the blue one, it goes up here past the high school, goes down through here, past all these shops, past the hospital, and then down to the bus terminal where they can transfer. So make sure that they are going from somewhere to somewhere. And if possible, make it bypass really beneficial areas. So maybe make it pass by a train station or a little commercial area or a shopping center or a school or something like that because if you're connecting up all of these areas it makes people not need to drive because they can just catch the bus which goes to basically everywhere that they need and if you also if you have an existing bus line maybe you can 
build around that bus lane so you could add in more schools around it um, you can add in hospitals or little clusters of commercial areas and things like that next use bus lanes bus lanes are a really great alternative because they disconnect your bus traffic away from the main road so you can make specific bus lanes like this and these are specific for bus for buses only and in the game if you want to actually make it specific for, for buses only you simply go up into here you simply go into here um, and then you go like this and you have to remove everything else except for the buses and they do follow that rule so bus lanes are really great because like i said they are disconnected from your normal traffic and they do have priority over intersections so they can go a lot more faster through your whole city um, they're just really really great so where i live in brisbane bus lanes like these are everywhere they're very very common and they are just they're just really easy because even if you have a lot of buses on these bus lanes it doesn't matter because they're only for buses. So bus lanes are really great if you have a city that has a lot of traffic issues. Um, maybe you can make your bus lanes go over the main roads or go under, so a bridge or a tunnel, um, instead of doing intersections like I have, but they are a really great alternative and a lot more cheaper. Now you should also have some kind of bus terminal where they can transfer like I have. Now even though it looks like it's on the main road, it's technically connected to the bus lane and I know it goes a little bit crazy there, but having bus lanes like this, you can add on your bus terminal and it makes it a lot more easier to get around, just, just so much more smoother, especially since it's not connected to your main road. So if you had your bus terminal actually connected to this road right here, all of the buses are going to go up in and out and all over the place and it gets very very messy very very quickly so do not put your bus terminal on a main road so you could maybe put it back over here a little bit but having it over there seems a little bit random right so having your bus lanes like this you can connect it in here and kind of make a bit of a hub a transfer hub um, and there's also and it's also great to put some shops around it so like i mentioned before have your facilities nearby so there's a high school here there's a primary school here all of the shops here all the residential areas nearby um, so that's just a really great alternative and you can also increase the speed of the bus lanes as well so instead of making them go through for example this right here mushing in with all of the other traffic you can increase the bus speed and they can just zoom around and it's just going to be a lot more easy a lot more faster and um, they're just good so if we talk about the capacity of buses, I can't give you an exact number of how many buses you should use for every kilometer or something like that. There isn't really, there isn't really any type of scale or measurement like that. So what you have to do is you have to just go manually look at all of your stations and see is there enough buses. So for example, I can see in this one here, there's not enough buses, they're not frequent enough for the demand or for the capacity. So you can start with a lower number of buses so you can go into your line details. So for this one that goes along here, I have four, which basically is pretty much what they need because if we look at the station here, there's not too many people along there. If we go down here, there's no one waiting down there. And then if we go over to this one over here, there's a few people, but not too bad. So maybe we could add in one more. And then once you add that one in, you'll just have to let it run for a little while and see, did that fix your capacity issue or not? Now, if you're noticing, a lot of people are going from, for example, from this little hub area here, and they're going all the way up to the, the high school, for example, you could do a direct bus route that goes from here and bypasses everything else and goes directly to here. So instead of making them go on here, stop here, stop, 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 you can do one that goes along the bus lane along here and then goes along the main road because it's not stopping and goes all the way up there and gets them there a lot more quicker but when you're doing these direct routes be careful because you're adding on more buses so you need to make sure that you only want to add in maybe one or two direct bus routes because you don't, generally don't need that much so that's just something that you need to be careful of so make sure you go into your line details have a look how many people are using it how many buses um, you can check the bus capacity in here so for example this stop here 205 people like i said needs more people but and then the buses so these buses are generally full so i would definitely recommend adding another one so you have to make sure to see if the capacity is too high the buses are too high and things like that However, if you're finding that you just have too many people wanting to use the bus, you're finding that you have way too many buses on your bus lanes or on the just ordinary streets, 
I think then it's time to upgrade to a tram. So you, you can put your tram stops roughly every three to six blocks. So generally not too much different from your bus lanes, but the trams of course have a lot more higher capacity of people. So I'm even considering like, should I add in a tram along here? But first of all, before I do that, because it is a big project, I'll add in a few more buses on this one to help with this amount of people. Now just one more thing before I finish the video, I have one example up here of a different type of bus lane. So this one right here is really great for your smaller town areas. Um, this one is good because you can add a bus stop on this side and it doesn't actually affect the traffic in the middle. So it's really really great because if we go back over to here, I think I mentioned this just before, but if you put a bus stop right here, this traffic right here, so for example the lane where the green car is, that green car would have had to wait. So this one is a really, really great road and bus lane asset to use because it does disconnect them completely um, and there's really no crossover between them. Another thing is make sure that if you're having your bus stops on either side of the road, make sure that they have a pedestrian crossing. Um, that can be a really big issue because if you have a pedestrian, if you have a bus stop, for example, back here without a pedestrian crossing, they have to walk all the way back here or all the way down there just to cross over because they're not going to cross directly over the road like that. They need an actual pedestrian crossing. So if I just wrap up quickly, I think the biggest thing that you guys really need to try is disconnect your buses from your traffic. So like I've done here, just try some bus lanes or just try your buses like I have done over here using them on a block back so instead of doing them on the main road make sure you're really careful where you put your bus stations you don't want to put them on your busy road because obviously then the, all the cars behind them are going to be backed up they're going to have to wait so disconnecting your traffic rerouting your buses away from traffic but still making sure that your bus lines do connect all of the main areas so if the bus lane connects to all of your large areas high school primary school so education districts commercial, hospital, office, industrial, make sh so once that's all connected, they don't really have much use for a car because they're going to prefer to use the bus anyway. So everyone, thank you for watching. Now, I can acknowledge that there's a lot of different things that you can do to make your buses run a lot more smoothly. So these are more of the basic things that you should implement in general anyway um, so if there's anything else which I'm sure there's going to be a lot of different things um, let us all know below in the comments because I would love to read them and I'm sure a lot of other people would like to as well now again these are all just basic tips I'm not going too in depth because I don't want to make it too confusing but there definitely is a lot more to it than just doing some bus lanes there's a lot more management type things maybe in the future i'll do another video about it more in depth which would be a lot longer but for this video i just wanted it to be short quick little tips for basically for for beginners so thank you all for watching and i will be back very soon with another video probably we'll go back to semi vostok for a few days and then we'll see where it goes so bye guys